Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Uh, it's game day for everybody but the Cowboys. The Cowboys are off, of course, this week, so there's no way we're going to lose a game this week, at least. We get to kick back, and we'll be live streaming starting in about an hour and a half from now. I'll have my buddy Rio, uh, the Washington football uh fan ambassador here in the house and of course e2 will be here with his antics and dmv and rashid of course crying about his new york giants so i hope you guys tune in but some news for our cowboys um we are hearing of course uh, a better update on dak prescott that it's looking like he's going to be good to go to be able to practice this week as well as play this week uh, against Minnesota Vikings. It's actually a good thing that we ended up having the bye week this week because it gave him enough time to be able to heal. Um, <clears throat> one thing I want to go through here. Boy, I still have shot glasses from last week here I need to take care of. One thing I wanted to go through and talk about is my quarterback, Dak Prescott, who has been ranked right now as the number one quarterback in the nfl statistically and at this point you have to look at dak prescott and say you know <clears throat> last year they were saying of course the numbers he was getting were just in garbage time games that the cowboys had no chance to win well we're the polar opposite this year because we're one in excuse me we're five and one with dak prescott and dak prescott's been playing outstanding he is literally in the top five of every major category, the only quarterback that is. And if you are a Dak Prescott hater out there, uh, let me be clear, Kevin Milton, if you are a Dak Prescott hater, I I'm just trying to understand that this has to go beyond play on the football field. Um, you're still trying to find reasons why it's so stupid to have Dak Prescott and quite frankly it just sounds stupid you know your your last argument is well you paid him so his number is going to balloon up next year and he's going to be losing receivers and we'll see how good he actually is well here's the thing that's kind of interesting okay because his cap number is only 17 million this year he's barely in the top 10 of compensation for quarterbacks but i get you your your case is that next year his salary is going to balloon up and his number will balloon up to 34.45 million dollar cap hit which is still a good chunk of change but here's the thing that's interesting about this is it's not like it's the top number I want you to understand that next year, Matt Ryan is a $48 million cap hit. Aaron Rodgers, who will be going to another team right now, is a $46 million cap hit, and we, he'll get a new contract. Kurt freaking Cousins is a $45 million hit. Deshaun Watson, who probably will be traded before the trade deadline on the second, is a $40 million hit. Ryan Tannehill who's having a terrible season right now, is at 38.8. .8. Russell Wilson, who wants to get out of Seattle and wants a new contract, is 37 million. Pat Mahomes is at 35. And then finally, we get down to Dak Prescott at 34. And I won't even mention like the 31 that Jared Goff, who they're saying at the moment, he's still the starter with the Lions. Or uh, Carson Wentz, who... Yeah, he's still the starter at 28. And Jimmy G, who can't stay on the field, at 27. See, unlike some of these other quarterbacks who have gotten paid because Matty Ice was the highest paid, um, Kirk Cousins was the highest paid, Deshaun Watson, well, no, he wasn't, but he was close, um, Jared Goff, Carson Wentz, Jimmy Garoppolo, these guys who got paid, they dropped in statistics Jared Goff being traded away literally having to use two number one picks to get rid of to get rid of him and end up getting Matthew Stafford who will be needing a new contract too at the end of the year and I guarantee it's not going to be less than what we're seeing and then you have Lamar Jackson's out there they're going to need to get paid quite frankly by the by next season 
Dak Prescott probably won't be even in the top 10 as far as a cap hit. So if your hating is, oh, well, you paid the quarterback. You know what? You, you really didn't. This is going to end up being, when you look at this, the way the Cowboys are playing with them. And let's be clear here. As much as you think, you know, we can bring in, I don't know, hmm, who could we bring in? Andy Dalton and see, oh, yeah, I'm sure Andy Dalton would have a field day with these weapons. It's time to let go of the Dak hate and start to embrace him because he's not going anywhere and he is playing really, really good. And in the meantime, I've got some bang bang shrimp I got to get prepped. And I've got some uh, black and blue sliders that I got to get ready to uh, cook and stuff and finish getting set up. I hope you guys tune in for our game day live stream. You know, we always have a lot of fun up in here with uh, our great friends uh, around the NFL, like my man, <laughs> like my man, ooh, mm, 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 mm. Philly Five. <laughs> oh, big run! Oh, he fumbled. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, shit. He's still going. Oh, he's 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 Oh, Danny. Run it, Danny. Don't fumble it. Don't fumble it. Oh. I just sat there and said, don't fumble it. Oh. 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 Let's go. Rasheed, look. You know you're old. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Daniel Jones, 12 of 18, 150 yards, one TD. According to Rashid, they probably have a dominant quarterback. Who? Uh, just read the comment. Who has a dominant quarterback? Not you. I know. Shout out to everybody who's come in to watch our live stream here today. Hope you've had a good time. I've had a really good time. We have been live for... Come on, come on, Danny. Run it, Danny. Don't I've... fumble it. Don't fumble it. Oh! I just sat there and said, don't fumble it. Rasheed. Let's go. Rasheed, look. You know you're... Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Look, he said, he literally said as he's running, don't fumble it, don't fumble it, and he fumbled it. Thank you. You changed him there.